think this video finds many of us as Americans in a very difficult place in life after we heard the news of the tragic shooting in an elementary school yesterday. And it's left many of us almost numb at this Christmas season to think and to hear of yet another shooting that's taken place in our nation. And I thought to myself as I prayed, God would give us wisdom. And I know that there's a lot of discussion that goes on. And there were so many heroic people at that school yesterday that gave their lives trying to intervene and also teachers that saved the lives of children. And I was at a basketball game this evening for my little five-year-old great-niece, and I thought to myself, I can't even imagine how those parents must have felt to get the news that their little kindergarten children or their little elementary school children were not ever going to see another Christmas or another holiday, that they weren't ever going to get to graduate or have families of their own or get married, have a wedding, any of these things that most children look forward to. And I pray God give us wisdom as Americans to be able to stop the terrible and the heinous violence that seems many times to plague our land. Many of us grew up in the baby boomer generation. And I know there's a lot of discussion about the gun laws. And I do believe that people should be screened before they're able to buy a gun. And I do believe that the assault weapons that are the rapid fire like the machine guns, they should be banned and that should be enforced. No person would need a hunting gun, a machine gun for a hunting gun. And I thought back to my own childhood. As my own father was a hunter throughout all of the years that I was growing up and how that he had hunting guns in our home and that my brother nor I ever played with or messed with his hunting guns. We, we understood that they were not toys to be played with and you know people have had guns in their homes for many years and I don't think just the gun laws in themselves is what the real problem is in this nation I think in this nation right now a lot of the real problem is that we are at a deficit of morality we have lost our moral compass in this nation I remember when I was a kid, I thought back to my brother and I, how we used to watch Batman and Robin, a program that they had. And I can remember that they didn't want the kids to see too much violence or become too immune or too numb to violence. And so they would hold up signs that said, pow, bop, and things like this. And this generation now grows up seeing and being a part of computer games and TV games that are many times so violent and they become numb to the violence. And then we've had shooting after shooting in our land. And I pray God give us wisdom to know how to turn the tide of violence for this generation. And I pray that right now as also at this Christmas season and this holiday season, we need a revival a morality, an awakening, a, re a revival of the fear and the reverence of God that I was taught when I was a child. And I want to pray for this nation because I believe at this point, this nation is at a point of desperation. We are at a point of the need for divine supernatural intervention by Almighty God, Jesus Christ, to look down upon this nation, to have mercy upon us as a nation, and to also send a revival and an awakening and restore the moral compass that made this nation the great nation that it was before the world. And I want to pray right now, Lord Jesus, you see us in this nation. You see us at our point of desperation for supernatural, God-given, divine intervention, Lord. We humbly repent of our sin and our wicked ways. 
that have brought much of this violence upon us in our land. We repent of our sin and our wickedness, Lord, and we pray that you will look down upon us, that you will forgive us of our sin and our wicked ways, and that you will heal our land, that you will restore peace, Lord, to people's lives and to their families. And I pray, Lord, for educators and for schools and for principals and superintendents throughout this nation, that you will give wisdom and you will give boldness and that you will give courage to help restore and return a moral compass to this nation that is desperately in need of a moral compass. And we'll thank you and praise you for it in Jesus' name. And I pray that God will continue to bring comfort and healing to the hearts and the lives of those family members that lost their dear children in this terrible tragedy. And God help us as a nation to turn the tide so that we don't any longer have to have hostile intruder alert drills because violence is becoming so commonplace in our nation. God help us to restore moral compass and peace is my prayer this season. <laughs>